We're back. I'm here with uh, Kevin Ewan. In the commercial break, you didn't see this at home, this guy dances up into the crowd and body surfs over everybody. Yeah. <laughs> wow, it was fun. Yeah. It's a good body surfing crowd right there. Yeah. <laughs> it was amazing. <laughs> it's the way you... <laughs> your body was... Your body was undulating? Stop doing that. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> you're like a dog that I scratch. Yeah. Um, there's so much to talk about. First of all, you and I go way back. We've known each we other, do. what, like 20 years? At least, um, well, let's see. Yeah. I met yeah, you when I was a writer years. at Star Night Live yes, in the 80s. you were a fine writer right out of Harvard. Yeah. At least that's what you said. <laughs> the Harvard <laughs> Driving School. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I cheated a little bit. Uh, no, 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 no. I got was... kicked out of Harvard, by the way. Did you really? Trespassing. <laughs> You're the worst guy, worst guy I ever met. Um, now, uh, so much to talk about. First of all, congratulations Whew. are in order. What happened? Uh, <laughs> yeah, since the last time I saw you, you got yeah, married. I did get married. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you got married. This is good. This is very big. Thank you. Where did, uh, where, now, where did you get married? Well, um, um, we got married in Italy. Italy. And just her and, her and uh, me? Yeah. You went to Harvard. Me? Don't or ask I. me. I don't know. Her and I. I. Her yeah. and I. And, um, because we just wanted to... Uh, we be get married, is how you say we it. We be get married. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we went to uh, Italy and to, went to Lake Como, just me and her. It's supposed Su to be beautiful there. Yeah, you met Susan, right? Yeah, yeah. Susan Yeagley. Gorgeous, yeah. And, um, and it was just me and her. We thought this would be nice. Nice little quiet, uh, wedding and, uh, you know, no big to-do, no, you know, photographers or anything. And, uh, we went to Bellagio, cute little town in Lake Como. And we get there and, uh, we didn't know, but three weeks before we got there, Matt Damon was there looking for a chapel to get married in. Mm-hmm. So a week before we got there, there's a little article in the paper that an American celebrity was coming <laughs> to get married. They didn't say who it was, though. Right. So they uh, assumed that it was Matt Damon mm -hmm. coming. So our perfect little quiet wedding turned into a big paparazzi thing. So the, you show up at the you show up <laughs> we, at the chapel, show and up, there's like uh, hundreds of photographers there. We show up at the uh, the uh, town hall, and there's a little uh, piazza out front, and there's a lot of paparazzi there. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess they were looking for Matt Damon. And uh, I kind of got by him, went inside, we went inside, mm -hmm. and we got married. And uh, as we're getting married, I'm noticing more and more paparazzi, you know, coming to the square, and I'm getting nervous. Right. Because they're going to be mad. Right. You know, because I'm not Matt Damon. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh, and I'm sweating, you know. Right, and, right. Uh, and the wedding video looks like I'm nervous about getting married, but I'm not. It's a paparazzi, you know, right. I keep looking out there. So we go outside. There's only one way out. It was like Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. You know, mm -hmm. you only go out one door. Right. And so we had to go out that way. And when we went out, I, I apologized. I said, I'm sorry, I'm not Matt Damon. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw all the Italian townspeople go, oh. <laughs> but the paparazzi took pictures anyway. And uh, so the next day, we're down by the water and uh, at a cafe. And there's a woman reading the newspaper next to us. And there, our picture was on the front page of the uh, local Italian newspaper. It said, non Adam Matt Damon. Not Matt Damon. <laughs> we actually, I thought you were kidding, because I, I heard about this. I thought you were kidding. This is the actual paper. <laughs> Check this out. I love this. This it, is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That's right. What a wonderful... What a wonderful memento. Well, let's talk about, okay, you're you're married man now, and uh, you guys, you know, uh, what's going on? You're, th you're thinking about having kids, huh? You got any news? You got any little announcement you'd like yeah, to we make? Act we're actually having a, we are uh, uh, going to have a baby. Oh, very yeah, good. Congratulations. Good. Not so fast. Not so fast. It's Matt Damon's. <laughs> Okay, okay. No, no, we are having That's a That's very nice. That's very yeah. nice. Uh, do you know the due date? Uh, it's going to be around Valentine's Day, and uh, we, um, we don't want to know what it is. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people like to know, but we don't want to know ever. Right. <laughs> Even after it's born, <laughs> we're going to be changing it like this. <laughs> Just figure out, yeah, okay, that's yeah. good. So, mm -hmm. so you don't want to know what it is. What about coming up with baby names? Are you going to try and start coming up the list of baby names? Well, you have a couple kids, right? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what I read in the tabloids. Um, but, um, <laughs> yeah. but coming up with names is hard because, you know, people can make nicknames out of every name just about. Sure, kids and, can uh, be cruel, yeah. yeah. So I, I thought, you know, I know that a lot of people take uh, names from famous poems and mm -hmm. things like that. So um, that's what we're going to do. We've come up with the name Nantucket. <laughs> Uh-huh, yeah, you're a, you're a very bad man. Uh, 
Oh, now, God. now, do you, 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 did you plan to have this uh, baby? Uh, you know what I mean? Did you? Yes, was this did. A, you did. Yes, you yes. did plan That's to why have the we baby. Got married. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you know what I mean. Some people actually make a point. They go out of their way to like, yeah. let's try and make a baby. Yeah. Would you, we were did. In that we mode? did that. And, and there is a big difference, actually. You know, when you're having sex to try to have a baby as opposed to just having sex. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like when you're having sex just for the sake of having sex. You know, it's it's more like. Yeah, you're a dirty whore, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Who's your daddy, you, you whore? <laughs> you dirty whore. <laughs> you know, don't make me go. You what? Are. What? Please, don't make me go through the whole thing. <laughs> but, you know, seriously, though, um, <laughs> you know, when you're having sex, though, for the sake of having a baby, it's, right. it's, it's much different, you know? It's, it's more like... Yeah, you're a dirty whore who wants a baby, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not high-fiving oh, that. I'm not. Thank no. You. I'm not high... What do you mean? You, you, you do not get a high-five for that, pal. Whore? <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey! That's off the old leg, all right? Uh, what else you got, man? What's going on? The Emmys, huh? Uh, I'm here now. Let's leave the Emmys for later, okay? This is the show right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll talk about, about the Emmys in just a second, because I know that uh, you guys are nominated as well for Weeds. We'll yeah, get, we'll get yeah. to that. Yeah. How many nominations? High five. <laughs> five nominations. Oh, man, you just are so begging for a high five. Elizabeth but no, it's Perkins. True. Elizabeth Perkins. Yeah. It's very good. That's, uh, this is very exciting. Yeah, it's, it's very exciting. exciting. And this it's is exciting. a very funny show. People love this show. Yeah. But I want to yeah. get back to you, and then we'll get back to Weeds, and then back to me. Uh, <laughs> Let's I end with you. We'll I didn't know. You. Yeah, we'll end with me. Uh, I didn't know this about you, but uh, you wear contact lenses. Can you see I, them? Well, the thing is, I passed you in the hall when uh, when you showed up, and you know, I saw you like adjusting your yeah. contact lenses. Yeah. I've known you for a long time. I didn't even know you wore them. About twenty years. Twenty years. About twenty years. Um, yeah, it's you know, you get older, Conan. You start falling apart. Like I saw a picture of myself the other day. I cannot believe how big my forehead is getting. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's getting bigger. You think, you think your bigger. forehead is getting larger yes. as you get older? My, uh, my eyes really should be... Let me show you where I think my eyes should be, actually. This is where my eyes really should be. Right about there. Man. <laughs> hey, man, what's up? What's going on, man? What's up? <laughs> hey, Conan. Hey, buddy. <laughs> but, um... Uh-huh. But, yeah, I got the contacts, which I did not want to do, because, uh -huh. you know, I can't see far. And I went to the optometrist, who was very optimistic, by the way. Yeah. And, uh, nice. <laughs> Nicely done. You're not getting a high five for that. Oh, it is. So, uh, <laughs> so this uh, this dude showed me how to put the uh, contacts in, and uh, you know I don't like the idea of putting something in my eye. Yeah, that would be yeah. uh, it's disturbing. really unnatural. Yeah. So uh, he said it's very easy. Just put it on your finger like that. It should be upside down. It should look like a bowl. And then um, uh, these two fingers, very important. These are much stronger than your eyelids. So their job is to hold open the eyelids against their will. Because mm -hmm. the eyelids' job is to protect the eyeball and yes, they'll try course. to close. You right. Know? Right. So. Um, yeah, these are like the bully fingers right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They work for this finger. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes what I'll do is I will sneak up along the side like this, and then just throw it back like that, <laughs> and then the eyeball okay. didn't know what happened. You right, know? right, right. It'll right. struggle for a while, then you can feel it go limp. You know? <laughs> and then it's all timing, and this one's coming in here like this, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, and these are like daily contact lenses. You throw them away at the end of the day. You uh, know? I've heard about this. So that you just wear them for the day, and then, and then you toss them you out? You get rid of them, yeah. Whether you wear them or not, I guess you get rid of them. I don't right. know if they start stinking up the house or what, but right, right. again, it's all timing, and, and as I'm getting right about here, sometimes I get nervous, you know, and it, and it, and it falls off onto my shirt, right. and I don't know it, because I'm like, you know, <laughs> you know, I'm fighting it, I'm fighting sure. it. Sure, yeah, yeah. And I think it's still on my finger, and I think I'm putting it in my eye, and I'm thinking, okay, that's not so bad, that's not so bad, you know? Right, right, right. And then at the end of the day, of course, I think it's still in there, so I'm trying to get it out, you know, I'm pulling on the eyeball, you know, that's not, <laughs> what is that? What is that? <laughs> so... What I do now, uh -huh, Conan, uh -huh, is yes. I don't take them out at all. I just stack them one on top of each other. <laughs> I'll go maybe three or four weeks until there's a big glass knob sticking out. <laughs> then you can just grab onto it and pull it right out like that. Uh, it sounds like a... All right, all right. Man, you... I've never seen someone so... so desperate for approval. It's sad. Now, um, I want to talk to you about something. I want to take us all back. A little trip down memory lane. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, back in the day, when I was working for you, you and Dana Carvey did characters. People love these characters, Hans and Franz. Hans and Franz. People love the Hans and Franz characters. I think we got a picture here. There they are. Here's Hans and Franz. Yeah. Dana Carvey? Yeah, Dana yeah. Carvey. He, uh, he was the best Hans. He was the original Hans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you two, you had these characters, and uh, everyone in the country was doing Hans and Franz. It was really, right. uh, it right. swept the nation. And we wrote a screenplay together. No, we didn't. Yes, we uh, did. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Um, Come on. Hey. What's that? Come on. Okay. 
Uh, open up a little bit for me here. <laughs> wow. I still don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> no, we wrote, a, we wrote a screenplay, me, you, Dana, Carby. And, and Robert Smigel. And Robert Smigel. Yeah. It was called Hans and Franz, The Girly Man Dilemma. Yeah. It was a musical. It was a musical. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Surprised I found work after that. Uh, uh, so anyway, uh, you guys do this, and and what I was curious about is uh, what did Arnold like? You were doing these characters for a long time before you ever met Arnold Schwarzenegger. Clearly, these characters were based on Arnold Schwarzenegger, yeah. and you you were really mocking we were Arnold. Mocking, we were mocking Arnold and the whole bodybuilding world. You know? Yeah. And um, and then one day, you know, during you might have been I was there, there yeah. actually when he we heard Arnold wanted to come on the show and mm -hmm. be in the sketch, and we all looked at each other. Really? Doesn't he know we're making fun of him? Right. You know. And then uh, we thought about it for a while, and then we thought, well, maybe he's coming on the show to kill us, you know. <laughs> so that day arrived, and uh, he came, uh, and uh, they came to get us on the set, remember? And uh, they said, Arnold's in the dressing room, he wants to see you guys, you know, me and Dana, in his dressing room. And we became like two school kids going to the principal's office. You know, right. we started panicking, we were blaming each other. You came up with it. No, I didn't. You did. You did the girly man thing. I did not. I said not to do the accent, but you want to, you know. Right. So we get to the dressing room, and Maria Shriver's waiting outside like this, you know. Mm -hmm. And she's watching us, you know, as we go by. She's like, and it was, it was strange, because we were walking that way. Yeah. <laughs> she so, does have that problem. Yeah, she's something wrong Real with Real depth eyes. perception. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so we get inside the dressing room, and Arnold is in there, and it's full of cigar smoke. And Arnold's sitting on this little chair. It's actually a regular-sized chair, but it made it look little, because he's so big, you know? Uh -huh. And uh, in one hand, he's got the script, and the other hand, he's got this fat cigar. And we walk in, and he looks up through the cigar smoke to us, and he goes, Hello, fellas. Now, how am I supposed to do the accent? <laughs> So right then we knew he had a sense of humor. He know? has a good sense of humor, yeah. yeah. And to this day, I don't think he knows my real name. Every time he sees me, he goes, hello, Franz, how are you? <laughs> you know? and, 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 you know, for a few years after that, he used Dane and I a lot, like in a lot of benefits and fundraisers across the country. Sure, you worked with him, yeah. Yeah, and, he, you know, he wanted us to dress up like Hans and Franz in those ridiculous outfits and fly all over the country, you know? And, and it was hot and sticky. Right, and, right. You know, but you can't say no to uh, Arnold. No, I know? think when Arnold tells you to do something, you do it. Yeah, we've become his bitches. That's what's happened. <laughs> You are my bitches now. You do what I say. Get uh, down, give me fifty. Uh, I want to ask you. I really like you, Conan. I think you do. I think you. You do a very good job at what you do. You're a good guy. What is it that you do? I don't know. I'm here every night. People come out. I have a flashlight. Uh, congratulations. Weeds. Weeds. Yeah, five you. nominations. It's a very funny show too. Well, I got none, but the show got five. You didn't have to point that out. Elizabeth I was hoping Perkins. to get by. I was just hoping, th right. you know, people would assume that you got one. Yeah, but yeah, still, yeah, yeah. It, it's all for the good of the show. It is for the good of the show. Yeah. And, um, and we're very excited about it. And, um, and people are liking the show. They're tuning in and uh, they're hearing about it. And this second season really amps it up, if you know what I mean. It's really twisted. It's, uh, it's quite interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to let you go for a bit and see what you came up with. Uh, Weeds premieres Monday night at 10 on Showtime. August 14th. Yeah. Okay. And uh, this Monday and uh, Tuesday, Kevin's going to be performing at Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. Is that right? That's correct. And you going to come out to the Emmys while I see you there? Yes, I'm going to be there. Yeah. I'm going to be looking for you. Yeah. Well, let's hang out. Where will you be? I don't know. They'll have me back in some okay. room. I'll be getting a massage. Yeah. You know? Are you up for something? Uh, yeah. Well, our show's up for a couple. And yeah. you're hosting. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I get it. I get it. Oh, no, have fun. I, I wish you luck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, trust me, I don't need it this time. <laughs> uh, Kevin Nealon, Conan O'Brien, is a good man. Morgan Spurlock coming up to take a break. We'll be right back. You know